Gladys before being shot in the back and thrown over the edge of Little River Canyon. The 13 year old Lisa Milliken was kidnapped, raped and injected with Drano. She cried for her mother. She cried to be let go. She promised she'd never tell. And there was no compassion, no mercy. Cassie Milliken is on a crusade. In 1982, her future sister-in-law, Lisa Milliken, was murdered. Ultimately, Judith Neely was convicted in Lisa's death and sentenced to die. I don't think the word has been invented for how evil this woman is. It's just unfounded. I mean, you could say malicious, insidious, all those words, but it still does not even come close. According to these 40-year-old court records, Neely and her husband held the 13-year-old Milliken as a sex slave for three days. Then on September 28, 1982, Neely shot the teen and pushed her over the edge of Little River Canyon after injecting her with Drano failed to kill her. Who even thinks of that? Who even thinks of injecting a child with Drano? Then during his final days in office, Governor Fob James commuted Neely's sentence to life in prison. Now, next week, she is eligible for parole. Attorney Scott Lloyd spent 24 years in the DA's office, which prosecuted Neely. Anybody who thinks that Judith Ann Neely should be granted parole has lost their mind. This was the most depraved conduct that I know of ever happening in this judicial circuit. Cassie Milliken has made it her mission to keep her sister-in-law's killer in prison. Her personal message for Judith Neely? If you feel any remorse within your evil little body, just stay where you're at. Stop putting the family through this repeatedly. If Neely refuses to waive her parole hearing next week, Milliken prays the public writes the board to ensure she remains behind bars. Keep her where she's at. I mean, it's common sense. This is someone who cannot be rehabilitated ever. That decision will be in the hands of the three member board in just eight days. So, John, how can the public weigh in on Neely's uh, parole? Well, guy, Cassie Milliken is urging everyone to ask the state to deny Neely's parole. We have an email address and the link to the Board of Pardon and Parole's web, uh, uh, website on our website. You'll find that info in my article. It's on the homepage on the and on the WBTM 13 app as well.